object vaulting. So um, another progression with uh, vaulting would be moving towards, uh, once you get the, the feel of moving over uh, the flat ground, or using a bench or a box to feel that connection from feet to hands back to feet, getting the vaulting down. Beyond moving toward uh, cartwheels on that, you can also work toward object vaulting. So this might be a fun um, thing to do at the end of a session, uh, finisher style. Uh, we'll start with two hands um, and an object to vault over here. I brought out the big box um, uh, to use. Um, but if we do two hands and feet together, it looks a little something like this. This is the uh, way you would jump over a bench or a uh, fence or something like that. This would be the easiest way. You jump from feet, you base, um, and put your hands on, uh, on the object, and then you pop up and use your arms to help lift you up and move you over to the other side, same way that you would do it on the ground. Again, trying to get your center up, not trying to get your feet up. Um, so that's two hands, feet together. Two hands, feet apart looks a lot like a cartwheel. So I'll turn um, in the air as I'm passing over. It looks something like this. I'm trying, again, to get my center up nice and high. But here I would be clearing, um, even with the box, if you start coming off in the end and then you move toward the other side, you can use just the box as an object to clear. Um, start with lower boxes until you feel comfortable, build yourself up. I mean, it's a progression. So there's feet together, and of course, feet separate. It would be the same thing, trying to hop over um, the object I'm basing on. Um, the other way of progressing this is you can bring things out to hop over. So this is a little bit higher than the box. So that's going to be a little bit more challenging. But I can bring out lower things as well. We got all kinds of little objects to stack up and make. Um, so this is a little bit lower than the box, but it does give me something to try to vault over. So uh, the next progression, um, and this would be a lot more limited in terms of people who are going to find value in practicing this right away. But, um, so you see, is we can do these same ones with a one-arm base. So instead of two arms, one-arm base, same way you'd progress um, on the floor with, um, with the cartwheels. But here we also have feet to one hand, base to one hand. There, I lost my bounce, so I had to bring my other hand down. Again, this escalates things. Um, one difference we have here is we have feet um, uh, separate that will land opposite or will move opposite to opposite first. So if I put my left hand down, that would be my right foot that lands. It's the same as the cartwheel. It's like a one, one handed cartwheel. If I put my right hand first down, opposite leg clears. And the way you can think about this is going face down. The most difficult, most complicated um, is to do one hand face up. So this one I would launch with my same side because I'm not going to turn. I'm not going to turn over my hand. I'm going to stay flat and launch same side, base. Same thing over here, same side, right to right. So that's the most, um, will be the most challenging means of object uh, vaulting. Have any questions? Let me know.